I'm going to model this uh, valve for my uh, wine cellar seam. You could use it for really anything you wanted to. All right, it's going to be relatively high poly. I'm going to add a circle and I'm going to choose 24 vertices. And this image is available for download if you follow the link in the description. Rotate X90 and pretty much get it like that. So it's pretty easy to see that we're going to select these vertices around here. I'm going to scale those in a little bit like that. Scale it out. Take the whole thing, E and S, and come into here. All right, so I want to do this middle circle, and I'm going to use this. So I'm going to shift D to duplicate, scale it in, and then use loop tools. For me, it's right click and choose that. Change to a circle. E and S come into here. And then shift D again, scale it in to do this middle circle. And then E and S, and there's a hole in the middle. And leave it like that. All right, now in edge selection number two, I'm going to join up this edge and this one have to make a face and just go around and do these pieces so like that and that one f and that one okay now we could give this some thickness e to extrude pull out a little ways and then we're going to come back in three for face selection and select those ones there all around like that okay I'm gonna extrude those out a little bit more now if I do control 2 you can start to see where we're getting with this shade smooth okay I want to come back in here drop an edge loop right in the middle of all these things Okay, and then in edge selection, I'm going to select this and this for all of these. And we're going to pull those out a little bit just to round them a little bit more. Just like that. Pull them out a little bit. Get them nice and round. You could leave it like that or you could come in again, one for vertex selection. Just select the, the top back vertex there. And I'm going to pull those down so they're not up high as much. I'm just holding shift as I click on each of these vertices here. Okay, I've got them. And then I just want to pull them down just a little bit. So it's not quite as high. All right, so now what we can do is we can come in here and get... I think I'm going to scale this in the Y, give it a bit more thickness. And add a couple edge loops. I'll drag one down there and one up there. Not too tight. And yeah, we're gonna have to come in. I'm gonna press two for edge selection, it's a little bit easier. I'm gonna be putting some more edge loops, so I'm gonna be going around here like this. So that'll take me a moment. I'm gonna go all the way around. So I got those. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to drag an edge loop there. I think I'll drag one there. Do some stuff on the bottom. An edge loop there. Maybe one here and here. It's looking pretty good like that. Okay, let's come in here. And uh, I'm going to make these spoke-like things. You can pretty much grab any ones you want. I'm just going to grab two sort of opposite a space. doesn't matter if it's not, if it's not perfect. Just any two you want. Is that good like that? Mm, let's try it. Okay, I'm going to press E and Alt S and pull them out. And you know what? Maybe I'll... Uh, me, I'll grab one over here. E and Alt S. Pull it out till they make contact. And then I'm going to scale them in the Y, S, Y a little bit. Just pinch them down. 
X faces. Get rid of those faces so I have that in there. All right, time to come into here. Drag a couple of edge loops like that. We'll do an edge loop up top and then in here. Like that. That. Over here. And maybe one, one more up here. How's that? I think we pretty much got it. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to rotate X90 minus. I'm going to drag it, press G, I'm going to drag it over here. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. Scale that in the Z. And roughly like that. Okay. All right, let's select three. Shift Alt and click there. Shift S, cursor to selected. Bring the 3D cursor right there. So we can add some more stuff. Let's do a circle and let's just go for 16 vertices. And F to make a face. Let's pull it up and see how big it is. Okay. We'll scale it down and we're going to get it to go into that hole. Like that. And E to extrude and come down. That's not a bad thickness. I'm going to come down to about there. Maybe a little bit higher. E and S, and we'll pull it out. No, we won't. Pull it out just a little bit. It's hard to tell. Maybe halfway, and then we'll extrude these, or maybe even a little bit more. Scale it out. E and come down. So it can't really give you any good guidance there. We're going to be extruding these in a moment. Okay, so let's come back to the top here. Three for face selection. Select that. Control B to bevel. Pull and give yourself a couple of segments. And if you want, you can select that top and pull it down a bit more. So we'll do that. And then we'll come over here and let's bevel these. Control B. I just need three. There's two, three. We'll do that. And we'll take this. I'll just pull it down a little bit further and get rid of that face. And down here, just roll your mouse up a bunch of times. For edge loops, Control B and pull. Just roll back to two so you only have that. E and Alt S and pull, and that'll push those out. Come out as far as you want. Shade smooth. And we have that. So far, so good. Okay. Uh, let's just put, put the 3D cursor a little bit closer. Select that. And bring the 3D cursor there. I'm going to make this hexagonal bolt. So with a circle and six vertices. Scale it down. Get the size you want. Extrude down, we'll to fill that, we'll fill that, select it all, control B, pull, and hold shift if you want to go a bit slower, roll your mouse up one, that's good, shade smooth, and take this one, shift D to duplicate it, we'll pull it down here, we'll go in the wireframe, and we'll scale that in the Z to get that in there. Yeah, we can take those and join it to that one. And we'll just put one washer on the bottom. So bring in another circle and we'll make this one say 16 vertices. Scale it. And extrude down. And I guess we'll have to fill that. Fill that. We'll bevel this with three, like that. Shade smooth and control one if you want to. And then if you want to join that, just apply that subdivision and join it to there. And just make sure you come in here and recalculate outside just in case. And we can scale this whole thing up a little bit. And uh, you're pretty much done. Um, I think we can get rid of that now. And we'll, um, let's just position this. We're looking at the front, yes. Shift C to bring your 3D cursor back there. Uh, in terms of statistics, it's not gonna be low. Uh, where is it? Well, 30,000. All right, and that's with a subdivision of two. If I go down to one, if you were at a distance you could, and you put the texture on there, you could certainly use that. Now you're less than 10,000. All right, and uh, just merge by distance. Is there anything? No, there's nothing anyhow. 
All right. Come on over to a matte cap, and oh, it looks like that's flipped, right? Look at the color. So we'll make sure we flip that. And let's see what we what we can do. Okay, if I go up one, it still looks even better, but it jumps up, you know, three times, three times that. So I might take that and apply that and, and join it together if I want all the same material on it. Okay, so that's basically it. It's gonna look with, with that one, shiny one. All right, that's it. All right, take care.